All right, a quick little beer mail video here. Just got this today. Uh, this is sent to me by the Albino Rhino. I didn't even ask for it. He's just, I'm going to send you another box here at some point. And so eventually he did. And this is quite an interesting selection, actually, he sent me here. Now, he lists nine beers, but he said he had to get rid of um, one of them. It says, uh, Okay, I have eight beers in the box. I have nine listed because I pulled one out a week ago and forgot what it was and wasn't reopening everything to find out. And, okay, so he packed it all really well. Let me just look here and see if I can find the one that's not on the list here. Ah, Mock, Mock Stout from Lancaster. That's the one that didn't come. Not sure if I sent this or not. Boy, Chuck may have drank it. I think that's probably what happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's take a look at what we got here. Um, these ones are from Ontario. Some more of those uh, dodgy Ontario craft brews there. You know, apparently Ontario can't make good craft beer. I agree. I, I've heard that. I've heard that somewhere. I agree. I said that. <laughs> I mean, you look like a nerdlinger like that guy. Um, so we got Nickel uh, Brook Ale. It says it's naturally carbonated using the carbonation that occurs during fermentation and apparently has Fuggles hops and five malts. Nickel draft. Dollar beer entry made to be a $28 for two, 24 and compete with Red Baron Lager, Lake Port, Bohemian, and all that stuff. Lucky Lager, you get the drift. So I guess that's like their budget beer, Nickel draft. Stonehammer Premium Pilsner from F&M Brewery, and they are Guelph, Ontario. Give her a shot. Two selections from Cameron's, and these two are also from Ontario. Cameron's Dark. It says on the thing here, it's uh, supposed to be have a drinkability of a lager, but the complexity of a European beer. So I'm guessing this is like a Schwartz beer or something along those lines. Let's see what he says on here. Uh, dark lager. Lost to. D oh, yeah, okay, I remember this now. He was showing the Ontario Brewing Awards or whatever. This one lost out to um, Waterloo Dark. Yeah. Has more f ale flavors than lager, even though it is a dark lager. Alright. That'll be interesting because Waterloo Dark's horrible. Uh, Cameron's Auburn Ale. Oh, man. Oh, good. Come on. Good. Not that great. Cameron's Auburn Ale won gold in the Amber Ale category from that awards, 2011 Ontario Brewing Awards. Uh, nice brew, not as many people seem to know about. They have four offerings and are located in Oakville, Ontario. Alright, cool. Uh, it says a complex West Coast style ale brewed with citrusy aromatic American hops. Now, here's some ones he picked up in America. Uh, when he took a trip, where do you, Pen USA. where do you, Pennsylvania was he went? I guess where he said he was. I remember seeing the video for... Amish territory, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing the video for the, uh, uh, this one here, the Lancaster Strawberry Wheat, I guess that was the one, where he didn't like it that much. And I said, oh, I'll, tr I'll take one of your bottles off your hands there that you brought back. It's like, sure. So, <laughs> Lancaster uh, Strawberry Wheat. They say it's a must try for beer and fruit lovers, so try it. Oh, the Lancaster's a county in Pennsylvania. Mm. I believe. Where all the Germans are or something? Maybe. I don't know. I've never been there. And Lancaster Amish Four Green Pale Ale. Don't know if you'll find out when you open the box. I'm pretty sure it was a Lancaster product I kept. Made f we made with rye, oats, and wheat. Yeah, interesting, very interesting. And finally, a Saranac brew, and a pomegranate wheat. He's got a bear, and he's juggling pomegranates. And slicing and dicing them. Apparently, he's got some. He's got sunglasses on. <laughs> they look like the sunglasses from that uh, guy from uh, Cool Hand Luke there, the 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 boss or whatever, who was overlooking the road crew there. Those mirror glasses. Yeah. Um. It says wheat season. Have to send a wheat beer. This is brewed in the States by Saranac. Haven't had it yet. Well, not, uh, haven't had it yet. Not 100% sure what it will be like. A buddy picked it up across the border. 
Oh, he hasn't tried it yet either? No, he hasn't tried this one. I mean, he is a guinea pig, so Oh, I, <laughs> I, I, would, I would willingly be any brewery's guinea pig if they want to send me beer, any beer traders out there who haven't tried something and they want to get an opinion first before they try it, <laughs> send it to me. I want to say radioactive beer. Mm. I'd even drink radioactive beer if it tasted good. I don't care. Coca Cola. Or yeah. <laughs> causes. Or no, what was the other one? What was that uh, uh, sarsaparilla stuff there? The oh one? yeah. Um, causes halitosis, and organ failure, and all this crap. Yeah, gotta love, <laughs> gotta love follow. Uh, <laughs> says for this one, this unique brew. This, this unique brew, this wholesome combination of unfiltered wheat beer and real pomegranate juice makes a smooth, refreshing beer with all the goodness of pomegranate. Enjoy. Deep in the heart of the <laughs> Adirondacks, uh, top secret grove of pomegranate grow wild and free. They are protected by ferocious bears, <laughs> which <laughs> we traded them tons of honey to make this unique brew, uh, I see. So, apparently they traded with bears to get pomegranates to make their beer with. The states they probably just shot them. They probably just put that on there as a whole life. Yeah, we, we actually killed the magical bears. <laughs> so that's why they're not around anymore. Alright, so this has gone seven damn minutes already. Holy shit. Uh, big, big thanks to the Albino Rhino. Um, I'm right on the cusp of getting your package out. Uh, I just need to pick up some schooner and maybe if I can find a can of Alpine. Like, do they still have the single cans? Yeah. No, I love them, yeah. No, the sons of bitches. Well, I might have to buy a box of Alpine then, I guess. You better. Today. <laughs> I'm not going out anywhere today. Um, so, yeah, big thanks to uh, Albino Rhino. Uh, he spoiled me again like he did the last time. Uh, makes me feel bad. Now I'm going to have to bulk up his package a bit more, I guess. Some extra brews. Uh, yeah, so... I'm sending this nice beer. He hasn't tried that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Actually, we're probably going to do like a couple of beer sessions where we do like maybe two or three, or, or actually more like or eight. Three, three or four in one one video. Me and my brother <laughs> will do them all together, I guess. <laughs> eight, one night. Uh, so I'll try to get these done. Like, of course, I probably won't have any of these posted anytime soon, but I'm going to try to get through them a lot quicker than I did uh, than I do the uh, ones I got from the Indo Symbiosis because those ones can just sit in my basement for who, however how long, right? But these ones I will definitely try to get through very quickly, and the reviews will be done, and they'll just be sitting on my hard drive until I get around to posting them. So, thanks a lot, Chad. Uh, really, really awesome of you, dude. Uh, big shout out to the Albino Rhino. If you haven't checked out his channel, go check out his channel. Stop looking at this video. Stop watching. Click the link down below. Come on now, seriously. Rate and subscribe. You definitely, definitely subscribe. Definitely subscribe and rate and comment to the Albino Rhino. Uh, one of the best beer reviewers out there. And we'll see you guys later.